Hi guys, so for tonight's reading we are going to be looking at what is coming in in the next 48 hours for you. So we have three piles, one, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, donate. I have my Amazon wish list, cash app, and PayPal all in the description box below. Leave timestamps for your piles. Check out my other channel, D Storytime. Like, share, comment, subscribe over there. Any of those ways that you help me out is amazing and I truly appreciate it. And it's really a great way to give back for the energetic healing session I'm bringing to you today. So I really do appreciate all of you who choose to do that. And let's get into what is coming in the next 48 hours for pile one. Something you may not understand at first, it may be a foreign, co foreign concept of some kind. Um, a lot of optimism, hope, joy, vitality though, maybe even a golden opportunity that's coming in, but it's going to be something that you aren't really understanding at first, something that you have worked hard for, and also something that's going to lighten your load. Many hands make light work which also makes me think of Con Air because, you know, he says that to Con... He says that to Cameron... Or, sorry, Poe says that when he's talking to Cyrus the virus because he's telling him, you know what my daddy taught me? Or he says, uh, many hands make light work. My daddy taught me that. And Cyrus says, you know what my daddy taught me? Nothing. So uh, some of you could actually be running into somebody kind of like that where they're just very pessimistic on an all-the-time basis and they kind of mask it behind realism but honestly it's just very negative energy as well but I really feel like you are very protected in the actions you're taking as well in some sort of way there could also be um maybe a one night stand that comes back or a one night stand that occurs something along those lines there's definitely going to be something out of the ordinary happening in your life and you're going to be questioning it and trying to figure out what the meaning of it all was there is also a little leapfrog frog here if the person who watched my message from a lost loved one is here watching this let me know in the comments below her son apparently really loved leapfrog when he was a kid finding that inner child again and a lot of joy again a lot of hope for the future again really being able to see things clearly as well you're really unlocking a lot in the next couple days unlocking a lot of clarity on things that you maybe misunderstood in the past or just weren't understanding or something that was confusing or maybe even you might be having the confusing confusing events over the next couple days but know that clar clarity will come truth will come there is nothing wrong with taking some quiet time out for you some time just for you is definitely needed. That's something that you should definitely put into the works if you haven't been having that time out for yourself. Um, maybe you have been working a lot. Maybe you've even been enjoying time with your children a lot or your friends a lot or going out and having fun a lot, um, getting to know people, stuff like that. And you might actually be taking a quiet day or two to yourself to really just be alone with you. And you might actually be seeing more clearly now that that is okay and that... That is really beneficial and needed for yourself. That is a form of self-care, something good for you. Foresight, planning, and strategy. Also, it helps you to be able to plan. It helps you to get clear on your goals or your ideas. It may even be um, that somebody around you is taking this time out to be able to do that as well, to strategize, to work towards something, to figure things out. That time by yourself, separating yourself from other energies helps you to be able to figure things out as well without other people's energies pulling on you, especially if you're an empath. You're going to be ending some sort of cycle, shedding the old skin, having a brand new beginning, really being able to bring out the beauty that has grown inside of yourself. You are going to be seeing yourself in new eyes. You're really going to be understanding yourself better and really understanding the cycles you went through and why you had to go through those things and the wisdom, knowledge, beauty, purity that you um, really, the consciousness as well, the ability to even be an empath. A lot of the things that you have going on and the gifts that you have are because of some of the bad things that have happened in your life and you are going to be starting to see those 
grains of salt that have irritated you and molded you and really helped to form you as this beautiful pearl are really going to be something that you're going to start being grateful for more instead of seeing as just obstacles or roadblocks or um, whatever the case may be. All of the things that were put in your path to cause you to have to get into an energy of temperance, discipline, willpower, strength, the ability to be able to balance yourself, the, the ability to be able to step into your passions and your emotions and keep that solid, stable ground. Everything that you have learned from the things that you've been through are going to be being seen very clearly. You're going to be trusting in the magic that's going on around you. You're really going to be um, knowing and understanding why things had to happen the way that they did. You're really going to be gaining a greater passion for life and a lot of um, clarity on the hard work that had to be put in here. A lot of clarity on also the amount of help that went into that. You're also going to be noticing the people who have helped you or you're going to have people that you have helped coming in to really recognize that, to give back to you, or you're going to be giving back to others who have given to you because you're really going to be seeing the beauty in that. You're going to be seeing that the give and take, the equal give and take comes from nobody blocking that flow. It comes from you being able to give and you being able to receive and that both are good things and you're really going to be finding balance in those energies. You're really going to be... Um, giving and receiving very equally. You're going to be also possibly having some visions as well for some of you. Some of you may actually even be seeing things that get verified later as having foresight in some sort of way. Yeah, you're going to be knowing what's coming so you can plan and make a strategy ahead of time. So that is what I have for you guys, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile two. For you guys, what is coming in the next two days? We have a Sitco test coin. There's going to be some sort of test coming in for you. There may even be a test on whether or not you are going to accept... Um, payment for something in particular, whether or not you're going to sell yourself short in some sort of way, whether or not you're going to allow some sort of cycle to repeat. It's graduation time, and when it comes time for graduation time, we all have to face tests sometimes, right? Think about graduation in school and how you have to take a final test, a final exam, to see what you've learned throughout the year and it counts for a lot of your score. So right now you may be finding that you come into a lot of tests, especially when it comes to your communication, how you've evolved, what you've unlocked. You may be unlocking a lot within yourself and the world around you, deco, deco. Um, there could be some decorating going on. You may even be gaining a new house of some sort or a new place to reside. A dorm room for some of you. Communication would come very in handy if it came to having to roommate with somebody. So you may even be roommating with somebody. Decorations. Um, deciding on decorations. Getting new decorations for your place. Not allowing people to digmatize you is the first thing that just popped into my mind. Or pussyatize you. Kitty ties you, kitty ties you or digmatize you. Um, <laughs> really being able to be very balanced in your energy, being able to handle multiple things as well, and really not giving in to the energies of others. Really staying in your own energy regardless of what's going on, remaining balanced, grounded, not allowing the inner beast to take over and rule you but really noticing when you're stepping into that energy and taking a moment to breathe and transform that energy again. Grounding yourself, yeah. You are definitely coming into a very large leadership role. In God We Trust, 1976, Liberty, I believe it's Eisenhower on the front of this, United States of America, $1. The bells are ringing. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. So really... um 
learning how to be a high vibrational light worker on this earth as well and how to leave behind that past full moon is on there too so you know this full moon is the full moon in libra balancey balance harmony peace stability strength are really coming into you being able to being tested as well you could also be being tested to be able to come into union with somebody maybe even to be able to gain the heart of somebody back again or vice versa um of being able to open your heart of being able to give and receive love and of not accepting the people in that are not looking for that just because it may be confusing in your love life right now not allowing confusion to rule you rare beautiful things very rarely seen things you are definitely somebody who is very rare anxiety radiates from you and causes discomfort so anxiety radiates from you and causes discomfort you could be learning how to remain grounded and stable in certain situations you also may be um, maybe somebody else is actually learning how to do that as well and how not to be in your energy or vice versa Manifesting multidimensional perceptions and attunements. Being able to expand your mind. Being able to grow your thoughts. Cosmic egg, gazelle, owl. Reveal your truth. See the truth. So what's coming in the next couple days is you're going to be able to see the truth. You're going to be able to take that mask off and reveal your truth because you're going to be looking at yourself very honestly in the mirror. You're really going to be um, examining things and seeing them in a new light. The wisdom and knowledge that you have gained, you are going to be putting to use. You are really um, ascending and becoming the teacher in some sort of way. You may also be claircognizant as well. Very knowing, very knowledgeable, very wise, very understanding. Um, you may be revealing the truth about somebody else as well. Somebody else's mask may be coming off. You're going to be being asked to stay poised, graceful, dignified, to hold your head high, and to be solid throughout this process. There's a lot of beautiful things that are coming. This transformation that's coming in where you're shedding the old and coming into this new energy is really going to make you vibrate very high. You're going to be feeling very good and you're also going to be releasing whatever you've been keeping hidden away. You're going to be letting it go. You're going to be uh, not trying to control the situations but just sitting back and enjoying them instead. Being in the energy of peace and calm. So that's what I have for you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this reading, I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it. Whether or not it resonates with you. What you might be going through. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day. Whatever it is. Wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye guys. And if these things happen, come back and let us know. Pile 3. For you guys. Let's see. What is coming in the next 48 hours? We have this Heineken star and the double O. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Da, 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 da. You may be receiving a call about something for some of you. Communication about something. You are definitely going to be being recognized for your stability, your strength. For the inspiration you bring to others as well, especially in healing codependency, you may have had to heal a lot of codependency in your own life, and you may have helped others to see themselves in a stronger way and pull themselves out of codependency. Definitely some sort of leadership role or promotion for some of you guys. You may be being promoted in your job or being given recognition in some sort of way. You're definitely a leader. You have a lot to offer the world around you. 
You may have been holding back and holding on to some things too tightly, but you have decided to allow yourself to go with the flow and a lot of good things, a lot of prosperous things are going to be coming in for you as well. Some of you guys could actually end up with a pay raise or something like that, a promotion or just some sort of money that comes out of nowhere. Money that you actually want to kind of put aside and save for you in some sort of way for some of you. At the top of your game, definitely, this there's like a, th there's like a crown on top of a dog or a lion or bear. I don't know. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. Um, definitely an ascension of some sort. Definitely a step up into power. Um... An increase in power. You definitely have the keys to be able to take your throne back. I feel like you're taking your throne back. You're taking your power back. You're no longer going to be allowing other people to control or rule your life. You may have noticed that for a while you allowed this to happen, but you are no longer allowing this to happen. And you are jumping up on that horse and really taking the reins back to your life. Another crown definitely unlocking a lot of beautiful potential inside yourself maybe even um two people coming together as well in leadership in some sort of way things are being exposed things are being revealed things are being unlocked um treasure may be being exposed or unlocked or released in some sort of way money could be being released in some sort of way some sort of abundance is definitely coming into you communication is a lot of this as well. There's going to be a lot of communication going on. People um, shedding those layers, opening up, expressing things that they have kept locked away. Things that um, they were feeling bad about before or ashamed of before are going to be coming up and they're ready to take charge of their life. They're ready to really take responsibility for their actions. They're ready to be a good leader, which is somebody who takes responsibilities for the decisions that they make in their life or you are taking responsibilities for the decisions that you make in your life, taking your power back and understanding and knowing that it's okay to not be perfect. There's a lot of energy of being able to release that burden. Alone time. Finally, use your space wisely. So, you're finally having some alone time. You finally got some time to use, some free time, some time to relax, um, to unwind, um, to learn new things, to grow your knowledge, to grow your wisdom, um, to grow in your leadership capabilities, to be able to really take care of the things and the bad habits and the stuff that you've been neglecting in the background. It's really going to be time for you to pull this out and sort through it. Air element, philosophy, discrimination, empathy. You may be delving into some more philosophy-based things. You may be watching more documentaries, more spirituality things. Um, you may be really researching some of those things, delving into some of those things. You may also be learning more about your empath abilities and skills and how to protect your energy, how to shield yourself, how to release the trauma, how to transmute things instead of carrying the burdens around on your shoulders. You are lightening the load and releasing some of the weight. And a lot of this is going to have to do with communication. Some of you may even be going to a therapist or AA or something along those lines, um, some sort of support support based program that may actually be helping you as well. You may be traveling for some of you, really expanding your mind, your consciousness, your knowledge on things, really accepting in new ideas, new thoughts, new understandings and perspectives, and really growing and nourishing those inside of yourself. You may be coming out of a black and white view on the world and going more into the gray energy a little bit, really realizing that everybody has both good and bad about them, shadow and light, masculine and feminine, all those different things. You're really starting to see and appreciate the beauty and amazing uniqueness of yourself self and you are really going to be experiencing some new things the next couple days within the next couple days um 
when you were in your darkness, you might have been like a light to the, a moth to the flame yourself. And so you're starting to see some of those moths are coming in towards your flame. And you're starting to understand why it works that way. It works that way so people could lead people out of the darkness. But the people who are leading people out of the darkness cannot allow others to attach to their energy to the point that they pull them into the darkness, which is why you have to work on shielding, protecting, and cleansing your energies as an empath as well. See yourself in nature. So you could definitely be spending some time in nature. You may actually be going on a camping trip with somebody close to you or something like that. You may be going on one of those um, trips out to out into the woods with like a spiritual group of some sort. Um, ayahuasca is coming to mind. You may be really experiencing some sort of spiritual quest or something like that in some sort of way. You may be getting your wishes fulfilled of being able to travel or being able to really explore new things and try new things, especially when it comes to nature-based things. You are definitely going to be um, connecting to the woods around you, the ground around you, the oceans around you, the water around you, the air around you everything around you, you're really going to be feeling it more, getting in touch with it more. I really feel like there is definitely going to be some sort of either camping trip or just some time spent in nature in some sort of way that is really going to help you to expand your mind and your consciousness. It's going to help you to learn something new and it's going to help you to be able to detach yourself from that shadow energy and really accept it, acknowledge it and release it allowing yourself to integrate it into your being in ways, take the good things from it and put it to use in your life. Being able to express your anger or your pain or your hurt or your frustration in healthy ways instead of burying them underneath other things is going to be definitely something that you're going to be realizing how you can do it and stepping into it. And a lot of that's going to have to do with pulling your energy back from others and focusing on yourself with self-care and um, really being able to accept and live with the alone time that's going on right now without worrying so much about being alone and how miserable it is, you know? So that's what I have for this pile and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it, whether or not it resonated with you, what you might have going on. If your next couple days go like this, go ahead and come back and let me know about it. I would really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.